Hello and welcome to another episode of the exciting Pokemon Sword Rattomizer does look. Okay. I shouldn't I should not joke in the very beginning. But we are here at the Rose Tower, as you can see. If I becycle myself back a bit, it has like vines with thorns going up it and the top looks like a rose. Um so we are to quote the Marvel MCU, we are in Endgame now. Um and we are here. And we are fighting this mysterious organization that has literally just appeared at the end of the game called Macro Cosmos. Um, and we have chased them down to this tower where the champion Lee, who is supposed to be fighting us for the championship, has not shown up. So we, we, we're trying to find out Wagwan with the Ting. And we find out Chairman Rose, who apparently owns Winden, knock off London, and his magic tower, has Lee here somewhere. So we're going to go and rescue him. Because we are the badders. <laughs> wow, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Do you like how there's roses and they're red and blue because Sword and Shield are red and blue? Yeah. Listen, Victor. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yes, you know what I am saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. I thought you said, what is this big space for? But then you say you know it's built in the power spot. Blood. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether we get this lift and get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? Is this supposed to be the shard? You will be leaving right now, so there is no need to worry about the lift. The intruder alert! Intruder alert! All stuff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once, Blit. See, Miss Oceana said so. Why say Oceana? It's an L. Why do I keep. I swear, my special mind keeps saying that L is a C and wants to say Oceana. Anyway, see, Miss Oceana says so. Then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I will probably get a big bonus. <laughs> I've got a big bonus. <laughs> Macrocosmos is Elijah. See, they're wearing their Teevil Team t-shirts under the League jackets. As I mentioned in the last episode, as you can see, the two hexagonal um, joined up symbols in the middle is the Steel-type symbol, and they have grey hair, so they're an evil Steel-type team. Obviously, this is randomised, so here's a Rhyperia. I love Rhyperia. Ooh, we got, no, actually, no, I was going to say, ooh, we got jingles, but... <laughs> we got Drake Punch. I'm sorry that I'm covering it up. I've known this for many episodes now, but this is one of those games where there is no safe space. Where I can place my giant fat head and not cover something up. Oh, he's got EQ, bro. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Something else I found out is that... Uh, that, uh, that Brother Jingles has the highest defense of our team, which, looking at how skinny... Um, you know, Jangma o -O, o o is, I would have presumed that he does have... Terrible defense. I guess the scales protect him? I mean, I would have thought a Pokemon that's a dragon with like super hard scales would have been Dragon Steel, but. Yeah, we eventually got one with Duraldon. Yeah. Oh no, having to give up my pocket money. Losing means I am back in the red. This pocket money is 4Gs. I am. My, my bonus. My dream of finally affording the house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman is at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. This boy contradicts himself. He just said like, oh my God, there's like a hundred floors for this tower. And he's like, oh yeah, we're almost there. He's at the top. Did you expect us to take stairs? Are you dumb? Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Victor. Let's crack on. I'm going Pokedex. First recording of the session, and I'm already don't know Wagwan with the team. I really want to get, by the way, Chompy to 65, so we could have a Hydreigon by the time we get to the champion fight. Because the champion has 65, so it is fair to us to have a 65 for the champion. Hydreigon. 
And I know it's Hydra again because it's eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sechs. <laughs> Feel the bump. Funny how I can count better in uh, German than I can Danish. It's terrible. My says Tiny King, Angels. I can count better in Urdu than I can in Danish. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yet I am afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glory of the high-tech elevators of the Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. What is this? Why is she doing this? Also, how much hair gel does she have in her hair, bro? Her hair is solid. Tapu Coco! That is absolutely terrible. Um, oh, sorry. I'm looking at my recording screen, by the way, if you ever wonder why I'm just kind of looking to the side. Um, allow me to show you behind the scenes, just so you are aware. Look, if I turn my camera, uh, it's away. That's the screen I'm looking at. That's like my monitor screen. Um, <laughs> so I keep like looking like that because it's easier than looking up here because of the light that's on this thing. It just sort of like, if you keep looking this way, I'm going to get light in my eyes all day and get a headache. But because my camera, I can see what you see. So I don't see the little thing that says, press the button, the A button or B button. Hold up, I need to look at my switch. I always forget what the buttons are on these things. The A button, I'm pressing the A button. Uh, Tapu Koko is a fairy type. I am terrified of a fairy type as is, and this is a legendary fire type. But we have a Matogros, which is very good against fairy types. So I'm going to swap. Um, fairy Electric Dragon Ground. This is a terrible. I'm going to swatch the Driller. I am terrified that that... that um, that old Flygon is literally going to try and hit the Earthquake on me. Okay, Tapu Koko is a penis. Because so I could have took out the Flygon with with um, Jingles. EP. Okay, on the Steel types. On the Steel type makes sense. Please don't come back, Grayson, one shot. Thank you very much. He's a Sado. You should not be able to do that much damage. Oh my god, he went for scary face. You fucking mug. Right, Tapu Koko is not a threat right now. Tapu Koko is walled. What I need to do is take out this Dargon. But I'm pretty sure this Dargon right here. I'm pretty sure this Dargon. Right, you can't discharge me anyway. Megris is dead. Uh, that's a problem. I would have preferred that um, Megris actually did an attack on Flygon last turn, but anyway. I lived! It's gonna hurt. Uh. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to take out the Flygon. We're faster than the Flygon. We're slower than the Tapu Koko. He's powering himself up. It's no problem. He can't use electric moves on us. And if he uses a fairy move on us, we resist. So we're good. We are okay day. We start having an okay day. Let's just do a Jar Jar voice to annoy everyone. That better not hit me, I swear to God. If there's one thing about me, I don't trust AI. Boy, I don't trust the AI in these games, bro. I remember the dark times. Which was during the original X and Y randomizer. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was X and Y. Or it was Sun and Moon. It was one of the two. But I, I believe it was X and Y, where basically um, the AI would attack the strongest target. And if you happen to have the strongest Pokemon in the field, your partner would attack you. It was so fun. Nine. Sorry. We created an extraordinary life that is safe for even a lift. Sorry, the lift. 
not life. We created an extraordinary lift that is safe for even a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. 9Gs, alright. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You think that Masro Cosmos is construction for providing the wonderful technology as well. Why did you need to say all that? Like, that made no... Well, that's your explanation of why you're not in an actual encapsulated elevator. You're, like, just the floor is moving. Uh. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside of any time? Yes, that's how elevators work. If someone presses the button, the lift will stop. We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves racket for us. Let me heal them all up. Okay, I was going to say, do I get to heal between this gauntlet? Because this is a gauntlet, by the way. Don't worry. There's only, there's two more, and we're done. I thought we could move because he turned, but we can't. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I am from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? What was that long-winded way of saying that you're halfway there? She's still doing the stupid hand thing. All right, do you really battle? Flag one and chandelier. Chandelier is I am worried about none. Okay, I am worried about no chandelier. We still got his terribly defensive Metagross, but. I'll take out this Flygon. I hope. Come on, super effective stab. You should take out a Flygon. Thank you, sir. Right. Now, the worry is obviously Chandelure, but if we remember, Chandelure is a Stone Evo, which means when we saw it last time, it had Astonish, Ember, Minimize, and something else. I can't remember. Smog. So it should have that terrible moveset still, even though it has Sky High Special Attack. Bear in mind as well that Ember done over half his health. What is it with your Metagross and scary face, my brother? You don't have a Psychic or a Steel type move to hit someone with. I mean, they've only got one. I was just like, is there a point Jurgen dancing? Not really. If I knock this, this Chandelier out, it's dead. It's done. Metagross, you oh, you actually do have a move. Okay. Thank you, my good sir. Oh. Makes me feel sad because it reminds me of the time Lumiere died his monster special attack even though we've got Lumia 2 now Kevin and Carl are dead no nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work this building is well over 500 feet tall that is as tall as around 100 Machokes standing on top of each other why are you telling me this I don't care this is why I don't read when I play when I play these games I just mash the text is irrelevant bro I am quite terrified of heights actually Unfortunately, our insurance does not pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Why would you insure against a Pokemon battle? That makes no sense. Okay, he's just gonna. It don't even bother to tell us he's healing. He's just like he's just healing you. Don't worry. He's already told you before he's gonna heal you. So why does he get to move? I'm just standing looking at the wall. Anyway, fight three of three in our gauntlet to the top. You're nearly at the top, but you will not be meeting the chairman. I have no fear of heights. I work high in the sky, doing my job in the lofty macrocosmos air. Is that their way of trying to say, yeah, these are the same trainers, but they're not the same trainers. You know, this isn't the last guy's because he was scared of heights. This is a completely different guy because he likes heights. Okay. You're not just fighting the same people three times. Landorus and Polygraph. I like Polygraph. I hate Politoed. I should have just given him, like, okay, I'm fine with having an alternate evolution instead of Polyrath, but really, bro. Polito looks so lame. Right, we need to get rid of the Landorus because. He's ground flying, though, right? If he's. It looks like a, like a tree for a tail. Like the wood, like you've cut the wood. Oh, he's got a psychic move? Huh. 
I didn't know he comes to extra sensory. Metagross, please psychic the Polyrath. Okay. I mean, you could have probably one shot Polyrath because you're a Seder legendary, but all right. Oh, don't hit me. Thank you. He just sprayed, <laughs> sprayed feces on the on Metagross. Now his accuracy's down. Oh, speed. Oh, that's even. That's fine. I got left these. There ain't nothing left, G. All right, I'm just going to Thunder Punch him. Sorry, Polyrath, I love you, but... I can't lose the game. The crit... That is just the, the middle finger on top. He just got the critical hit, bro. Taco, taco 60. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? No, you get it when it goes down. Like, when you're going up, it's pushing you up. But when it's going down, the only reason that you're not on the ceiling is because it's going slow enough that gravity is keeping you on the floor. But if it goes slightly above the calibration to keep your feet on the ground, you can feel a little when it first moves because it goes a little bit fast when it first initiates. Anyway. Don't you presume to... Well, don't you presume to meet the chairman. You are not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but all of Galar. That's why I live at the top of a tower block, because I'm important, brother. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp and let's do this. I'm going to save in case anything goes wrong, as in the game decides to freeze. Not if we lose. We lose, we lose. I don't do that. Welcome to Chairman Rose Executive Space, nearly thousand feet above the Earth. So you had to go through all of the special staff that I'd ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the tolliness handpicked by Champion Leon himself, Blade. But I'm afraid now it's time for you to go home. Because... They will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rosuka, Blade! <laughs> you shall be first, Victor. I will put you into pieces. Then when the champion will have no one to battle and lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the champion says, Blit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's a macrocosmos. Holy <laughs> She's like... <laughs> oh, come on, a fairy type is a... Hmm. Mm. It's time to do 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 It's gonna live. Please don't play rough me. Help my help cheeky is do such thing to hurt my partner. You setting up the rain? Nah, you should be bring it up paid. Nah. You should have played rough to me, bro. That was your that was your your one chance, your one opportunity. Huge power play rough. Quad effective stab. You died now. You done did died, bro. You better hope you don't have any fire types because you screwed yourself if you did the rain dance. Ooh. I don't want it though. Close combat. No. Scrafty. <laughs> Oh, come on, bro. All right. You want to play city games? Just play city games, bro. You want to intimidate me? Then I'm going to drag a knight on your ass. This is the story all about how Jingle turned your life upside down. Really? You going for high jump kicks on me? Really? With my defense? At this time of year? In this economy? No, and the plus one again in case she's got another Intimidate. Mon, I don't really need to set up, though, to be honest. I'm not... The speed's nice, but just in case. You're landing higher jump kits kind of a lot, my guy. It's the reason I never use them in, like, gens 1 to 5. 
That misses. You take so much damage. Anyway, can I have some HP back, please? Boop. Thank you. He is dark fighting, so he's weak to fighting moves, and we are a fighting type. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Look at that delicious HP, bro. Bye bye. The rain stops. She's got a Steelix? I ain't swapping for a Steelix, okay. Bring out your Steelix. You're weak to fighting as well. So you wasted your one singular fairy type that could have played rough my ass into another dimension. And now you're gonna bring out all ones that are weak to me. Oh, he's got the Derude Sandstorm. Um, I got to drain punch him again just to be safe. I don't want to risk Dragon Clawing because he resists it and he has high defenses. There we go. I believe she has a Gigantamax Max because I believe, if I'm not wrong, doesn't she have Gigantamax Swallow? Isn't it Swallow? She's got a poison type thing. It's not Mark. I believe it is Swallow. It's the one that turns into a big gooey mess with loads of like bits inside of it. Oh hell, she's got Dragapult. Bring him on. Sado versus Sado. That's this game, Sado Legendary. Versus the previous games. Who's better, Sun and Moon or Sword and Shield? Boy! I mean, I've got 10 levels on it. It's not really going to be much of a fight where I've got super effective and outspeed. Not who wants to learn Nasty Plot? Hell yeah. Nasty Plot is Sword Stance for special attacks, so I'll take that. Because you're going to become a special attacker when you evolve, baby. Toxtricity. We're going to try and stay in. This is my last Pokemon, seriously. Oh man, it's going to finish this. So she's got Gigantamax Troxtricity. All right. Does that do it again? Boost my attack. Oh, look, it's his attack. That's fine. It's time to do 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 Let's go. Doesn't he get like a giant guitar or something? Yes, jingles. There is many seagulls flying around outside and it's really annoying because they keep disturbing me because they're like in the corner of my eye I just see them fly past the window. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, what the hell? He's got like a power station on his back. He's still got those jiggly boobies though. Uh, he looks too weird now. I mean, he looked weird already. But I resist electricity. I one shot him anyway. I feel so bad I'm just one-shotting every single... Like these big jug... Uh, to be fair, I'm not going to lie. To be fair, in the main game, you do this as well. No randomizer, no nothing. You just play the game, you go through. You will, you will be at the same level I'm at, and you just one-shot everything. These later games are easy. So I'm hoping the randomizer will, like, spread your cheeks. But the randomizer... To be honest, if you ever play randomized Nuzlocke, if you're going to spread your cheeks, it's usually at the very beginning. The first four gyms is where it's like... You don't have as good coverage. You might not have as good of a team. You know, if a, if a fully evolved comes along, they can wreck your life. A legendary comes along, they can wreck your life. Once you get to this point in the game, you're kind of like solid, bro. Yeah, I was not able to win. Then uh, you were really a hopeless woman. Seven Gs? Can you pay seven Gs? Yeah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challengers mad at this far would not be pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishes have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Sabre Golvin, uh, you and Jingles are unstoppable. I need to set up a sweep. Yeah, the thing I did was to follow the chairman's own goals. He's just... Also, is this supposed to be his executive office? Why is there no furniture? It's just a flat, 
empty nothing. Also, do you like how this isn't actually an animated scene? It's a picture. <laughs> do you like that? Clouds are not moving. They were like, ooh, we don't have the budget to animate this scene. Leon, we've discussed this hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who are supposed to be our champion. Oh, I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What's the difference is one day going to make, bro? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Geller wants and what I want. It's what we've been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. Like, bro. You could have animated this. Is it just because they did want to make a city for Winden? Because, you know, Winden's tiny. This is what Winden's supposed to look like, by the way. And though the energy required to keep this brilliant glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now, the people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that we could all look forward to a better future. So they're basically trying to make him like, yeah, he's a villain, but he's doing it for good reasons. Like, He's doing it for the environment and for the future of humanity. He's trying to save us from using too much energy and being bad people. Also, do you like the little, um, the fact that he's like, he's the leader of an evil steel type organization and he wears a grey suit because steel is grey. In a thousand years? Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman, and I'll give you my word, I'll help you with your plans as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Also, he could have, like, averted all of this. This is so dumb. If he didn't stop the championship match, you wouldn't be trying to stop him right now. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. <laughs> oh, man. Piers and Marini and all the team yellowed balls, they all helped us to get here. I was apologise to you, Hop, if we made you worry at all. There are times that adults just can't seem to be having a nice discussion with one another. Something our pride just gets in our way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Victor. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner, yeah? It's on me, so we can order whatever you fancy. We're just going to brush aside that, you know, he has a team under his control that are trying to stop us, fighting us to stop us getting here. If you excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you watch tomorrow's match, it'll be sure be one for the injury hooks. Also, why does he wear his sports kit constantly? You just wear normal clothes when you're just walking around. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I'm going to change the course of our history. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Look, there's a Roselia in the middle of the floor. Do you see? The next evening. <laughs> Mr. Receding Hairline. Bam, bam, bam. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. What are you eating butterfreeze, bro? And yeah, I know that they're trying to make a joke, but anyway. Challenger Victor, the finals will be starting shortly. I am here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Did you learn your lesson from yesterday? <coughs> if you need another helping of Hopper and his trusty Intellion, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I am not like those other league staff. They had grey hair. I have brown. I am a good one, if I must say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme, and in her desire to assist the chairman in his goals, I am afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you have no need to worry about today's stuff. All three of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we have to trust her then, yeah, Victor. Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Why are you all hyped for? You got your ass handed to you. Would you like me to show you the way to Windows? Oh, this hurts. <laughs> what did his voice? Would you like me to show you the way to Windon Stadium? Sure. Then let us be on our way. Well, due to the time. And what's left. I think this is as good a place as any to call a close to today's thrilling episode where we meet a evil team at the very end of the game and then they do absolutely nothing. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching today's episode. Um, join us next time as we go on to our champion cup. But for now, goodbye.